Hello, manifestors. So why is it that you are struggling so much? And why you need to know now, ASAP, ASAP, that you don't have to struggle anymore to manifest your desire. This is what we are going to talk about today because I see too many of you struggling, creating your own struggles and your own delays between you now and your manifestation. So please remember to like, comment and subscribe and let's get into it. I see a lot of people who are truly struggling with their manifestation. But they're not struggling because manifesting is hard. Because manifesting is easy. Manifesting is an autopilot that is playing out day in and day out based on your assumptions. But the moment you feel that you have to do something to manifest your desire... And when I say do something, I mean, you believe that unless you do this, unless you do that technique, unless you do that set, unless you repeat those affirmations, you are not going to manifest your desire. This is where the struggle starts. This is an assumptive world. Your whole world revolves around your assumptions. What you assume to be true will be true to you. So, for you to understand better how manifesting works, let's say right now you are believing, you are assuming that in order to manifest that big, big desire of yours, you have to have a certain regimen right? You have to do sets. You have to watch your thoughts. You have to be on top of your game. You have to do all those things. Otherwise, you're not going to manifest your big desire. This is an assumption that is working against you. It's working against you because since you have that assumption, unless you do all those things, You are not going to manifest your desire. But truly, truly, trust me if I tell you I'm talking to you based on my experience. You can have a desire and just by having it, it's already yours. Now if on top of it you imagine You have a few scenes where you can really be involved in, embody, occupy the state where you already have your desire. After that, there is nothing else to do. But the reason you are struggling is that as humans, first of all, we were taught to struggle. We were taught that everything that's worth it to have or to get involves some work, some action, something. Even those so-called success coaches out there, and God knows I've had those coaches in the past, they are full of limiting beliefs, full of them. Because they are telling you, unless you wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning, unless you do this or that and the other, unless you bust your butt off, nothing will happen. Nothing will change for you. You you will never get what you want. So even in the so-called successful people community, there is that strong limiting belief. Yes, it is. A strong limiting belief that unless you do something, and most likely in the 3D world, unless you do something, nothing is going to happen for you. But frankly, I don't know how to tell you how I know for a fact now from my own experience 
that this is false. This is false. And truth be told, if there is anything that teaches you better than anything else, it's your own experience. Once you've experienced for yourself that manifesting is just an inner game, it's just an assumptive game. Once you assume that a desire is yours, once you convince yourself that There is no reason whatsoever I would have such a strong desire. Even trying to destroy that desire, you can't. You still have it. Because I've done it and I have spoken to many people who have tried to actually delete their desire, right? Because it was too much, too much suffering, too much struggle. So they try to say, okay, forget about it. I'm going to forget about it. I'm not going to desire this anymore. I'm going to give up on my desire. But guess what? They may be able to do it one week, two weeks. And what happens? The desire comes back even stronger. And I have done that with my biggest desires. I have tried to delete them to Tell myself, okay, this is too much struggle. This is too much suffering. This is just too much. I don't want this anymore. I'm giving up. But I couldn't. I just couldn't give up. Why is it that we can't give up on a desire? Because a desire is bigger than us, than our human ego us. Our desires are divine in origin. And they are there for a reason. They are there for a reason. If you desire something, anything, so much, it's there for a reason. So whatever it is, it could be a career that you desire so much. It could be something that you want to do in life. It could be a specific person. It could be anything. If you have a strong, strong desire, it is not for nothing. It is there for a reason. And that reason is divine in origin. And this is why you can't get rid of it. And one thing that I found out for a specific person, for example, if you really, really desire to be with a specific person, but I'm talking about it's a real deep desire that that goes beyond and above your logical mind. You, You want to have someone in your life and you even try to cancel that out because it's too much struggle. But that desire still comes back no matter what you do. If you have a true strong desire to be with your specific person, It's for a reason. And the thing is, the beauty of this is that this reason is not only you. It's not only for you that you desire that person so strongly, but it is also for them. That desire exists for you and them, not just for you, you and them. And here again, I'm talking from my own experience. And it's your job to see what's going on in your experience. But in my experience, the fact that I wanted so much, so strongly, the person that I am with, it's because it wasn't only for me. It wasn't only to please my little ego. There was a much bigger picture, as it were. It was above and beyond that. And it was also for him. So my desire served me and him. So that's another thing. When you think, according to some other beliefs out there, that a desire is selfish or you shouldn't have a desire. Desires are a snare. And having no desire is better. First of all, nobody can have no desire because as long as you are alive in this life, in this 3D world as we know it, you will always have a desire. 
Just the desire to eat, sleep, and drink are desires. Those are desires. So don't let people tell you, brainwash you with the belief that it's best if you have no desire. You will always have some type of desires. I don't care what it is if you are in this world. Even the monk that goes on some isolated place and meditates 24-7 has the desire to do that. So even people who live with nothing, they have the desire to live with nothing, right? Everything is a desire. So don't let people brainwash you with that guilty feeling that they're trying to put on us for having desires. Because this is not true at all. So when we have a strong desire, most likely that desire is not only serving us personally, but it's serving actually everyone else involved. So remember that. Remember that if maybe, just maybe, the reason behind your struggle may be that you feel And maybe it could be a very hidden assumption, a very hidden belief, limiting belief that was put into you a long, long time ago. That maybe desiring what you are desiring right now, it's not a good thing. It's it's not good. Somehow it's bad, right? If you truly have a true desire that comes from within and you've even tried to get rid of it and it didn't work, It's because your desire is pure, is divine in origin, because it's serving everyone involved, not just you. And the reason that it's there in the first place, it's because it's divine in origin and it's yours. You wouldn't have the desire. If it's a true desire, trust me, you wouldn't have it unless it's already yours. So when you struggle, you want that specific person, you want that money, you want that lifestyle, you want that career, you want those travels, whatever it is that you want in this life, in this physical world, it's already yours. And the only reason it's delaying and delaying, it's because of you. Because you are the operant power. And as the operant power, when you push things away from you, well, they are going away from you, right? You are, you are resisting your desire just by thinking and believing and assuming that there is a struggle. This thing is not yours. Oh my God, I've got to do something so I can get it. Just by doing this, you are pushing away your desire. You're not even ruining your manifestation because you can't, but you are delaying, delaying, and delaying some more as you push against it, as you're struggling, as you are believing and assuming that there's got to be something you've got to do in order to get it. When really, trust me, all you've got to do is relax And remember who you truly are. And who you truly are is the I am. It's God. And God has a desire and has already the means to fulfill that desire. Meaning you. You have a desire. Therefore, you already have the means to manifest that desire. Just by assuming that it is done. So to end this video, I am going to quote Neville with one of his most important quote. Maybe the only one you could remember, if there's only one quote you can remember from Neville. And this is it. You are already that which you want to be. And your refusal to believe this is the only reason you do not see it. So I am going to end here. Please let me know in the comments if this video helped you. Also, don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you have not yet. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.